Hey everyone, so I made a video last night uh, discussing the different species of sea moss and um, I went live actually and then I posted that to my feed but I was answering questions in it and I didn't like the way that it came out so I decided that I am going live now to make this video but I'm just going to really focus on what it is that this video is about. Uh, this video is about educating us on sea uh, moss, which is very important. I know that there are many people out there who sell different types of sea moss, and a dilemma with us is trying to determine what's real sea moss, what's fake sea moss, is the purple better, is the gold better, you know, all of that, and it can drive you insane. There's so many people, as soon as we get it, we think we have the right one, and then we realize that, oh my gosh, this is not even the right sea moss, right? Constantly watching videos, and everybody says, trust me, it's wild crafted, mine is not pool grown, blah, blah, blah. But let's talk about why we actually want wanted sea moss, right? The reason that we're looking at sea moss is because Dr. Sabi started talking about it, right? We don't know Dr. Sabi, but we trust him. A lot of the things that he told us has been proven to be actual, actual, actual facts, right? Um, the things that he's telling us are beneficial to our body. It's helping us rid ourselves of diseases and live a happier, healthier life. So um, that's what we want. He said sea moss, we're going with the sea moss. Um, but I just think that it's very important for us to fully understand um, the sea moss period, right? It's very important because there are so many people out there who want to help and there are a lot of people out there who just want to take our money, right? So we don't want to get caught up in supporting people who are just out here to make money, scam us. You know, we don't want to be down with the latest trend. We're really trying to do this to be healthy and get better. So I want to talk about um, the different types of sea moss that are out there. And I also want to talk about what the sea moss was that Dr. Sabi was referring to when he talked about sea moss and it being electric. So um, right now I have some sea moss and this one is a bag of it. So this right here is the sea moss that we see now everywhere. The market is saturated with this time of sea, this type of sea moss. So at the top it's gold, but at the bottom it's purple. So this the market is saturated with this particular type of sea moss. This species of sea moss is called Gracilaria sea moss. As you can see when I'm pulling it out, you can see the flakes of salt coming off the sea moss. And this is supposed to be the, one of the highest qualities. And it doesn't mean that I got fake sea moss at all. This sea moss is what it is, right? I have videos, I'm not even going to put it, I'm not even going to show it. Maybe I'll just let you hear it. But Dr. Sabi specifically said, real sea moss has no salt on it. Why does these sea moss have so much salt on it? Why are they advertising, we don't have as much salt, or you can tell fake sea moss because it has a lot of, a lot of salt on it. Dr. Sabi says sea moss has no salt on it. I want you to look down at this paper. Look at all of that on here. That's falling off of it. Dr. Sabi specifically named the sea moss that he was referring to in his teachings as Chondrus crispus. He specifically said Chondrus crispus. He did not say wild crafted Jamaican sea moss, wild crafted sea moss from St. Lucia. Dr. Sabi said Chondrus crispus that grows in the Atlantic Ocean on the rocks. Why are we buying sea moss from Jamaica? Why are we harvesting sea moss? Why are we buying sea moss from um, St. Lucia where, and wherever else other people are buying this from? I want you to hear this little snippet of this video. Let me see if we can hear it. And you put it in the pot, it gives you a whole oh, okay, lot so of Okay, so you can't mucilage. turn it off, but listen. The natural sea moss doesn't give you a whole lot of mucilage. And the talus of the sea moss, I mean the little strings, thin, thin, thin like It talks this. about little strings, right? Just like this. I'm going to show but you all this right now. The size. About to give you this free education. And the other one, the size, it always has salt on it. Listen. Natural sea moss has no salt on it. Natural sea moss and has gives you energy. no salt on it. Natural sea moss has no salt on it. No means zero. Means none, right? This is Chondrus crispus. This is the sea moss that Dr. Sabi talks about. You just heard him in the video say that it has little strings on it. Look at this. Look at this. And he said when you grow it in a pool, it becomes thicker. 
Look at the difference in the veins in there. This is Conjures Crispus. Do y'all see any salt on here? Is there any salt? Does anybody see any salt on here? Any salt at all on this Conjures? And then you pick this up. And mind you, this right here is not a salty moss. I've seen some salty moss. But again, you can see the salt coming off. So it's not about mine doesn't have as much salt. This is the right sea moss. He said no salt on it. And I tell you, I've been taking this type of sea moss. The, I forget what it's called already. I don't even want to know what it's called. It's called the um, Gracilaria sea moss. I've been taking this for over a year. And I swore, I kept saying, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm broken. Maybe I'm just all herbed out and my body's already detoxed because I don't feel anything. I started taking this about three weeks ago, and from the first tablespoon, I swear to you, I swear on everything, that first tablespoon, I was bouncing off the walls. Like, I had absolutely no idea what was what was going on with me and why I had so much energy. Like, I, I'd be chilling and everything, but this was different. This was, let me go outside and mow the lawn energy. And now, I do, I probably take maybe like a half Maybe to like right here, a quarter of this every day. And I just do it. Like I take it. But I want you to see the difference in it. This is natural. Like this is from um this is from the Atlantic, like he said. Now let me just let me just say something else because I don't want anyone to think that I'm saying that um this sea moss is fake, that this is fake sea moss. I'm not saying that this is fake sea moss. What I'm saying is that it's not the species that Dr. Sabi was talking about in any of his videos. This can be 100% wild crafted sea moss, but it's not the sea moss that we're looking for. That's not the sea moss that we're looking for. When I looked up um, what this sea moss was used for, they said as a thickening agent. People use it in Japanese and different Asian cuisines in soups to make it thicken, to thicken it up. It's like their version of flour. I'm sure there's some health benefits to it. But when you find out, feel free to let me know because I have absolutely no idea what they are and I don't want to ingest that. Um, Dr. Sabio also talks about in his videos that when you boil this, you'll get a lot of mucilage. And what is mucilage? Mucilage is, again, the thickening agent, the glue, the gum, the, the, the jelly. That's what it is. You don't get that with his real sea moss. As a matter of fact, Savannah! I'm about to show you guys some sea moss gel that... Um, both sea moss gels that I have because I made. Can you give me those two sea moss gels out of the refrigerator? The both of them, the gold one and then the one that I made out of the Conscious Crispus. I'm just going to show you the difference in the two sea moss gels that um, that I have that I made. So that's that. Um, what else was I also going to say? Oh, the health benefits of the. Um, OK, so this one is more of like, yeah, they use this as a thickening agent and like a, it's a gelatin. And it also says online, the difference is that, yeah, those two, thank you. The difference is that Chondrus crispus is higher in nutrients and stronger in flavor, which is why it's a less desirable ingredient to use in food. Um, Gracilaria sea moss variety is almost tasteless. So a lot of people will be like, a lot of people are like, let's put this in our and our smoothies because we can't hardly taste it. And that means a lot, right? That means a lot. That says a lot about its efficacy, right? That says a lot. Um, I sell myself, I make herbal capsules and I sell sea moss bladder, you know, all of that stuff. And I, for the longest, I was like, oh, well, the gel is not as strong because it's diluted. And now I realize the gel is not as strong as because the gel is not Chondrus crispus. And the Chondrus crispus is actually the one that Dr. Sabi was referring to which makes perfect sense. So right here I have the um, Gracilaria sea moss that I made out of the sea moss with all the salt on it that Dr. Sabi says sea moss has no salt on it, yet we're still consuming this. And then I have the one that I've been taking now, which is Chondrus crispus. And you can actually see the difference in the two mosses. You can see the difference. So this... The, the moral of this, this whole story is, as I played the video for you already, for those who tuned in um, late, I played the video where Dr. Sabi said specifically, natural sea moss, Chondrus crispus that he's referring to, has no salt on it. Zero salt. This ain't it. This ain't it. 
okay? Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Like my goal is not to bring anybody's business down and mess with anybody's money. My goal is to help us all become our own healers. And I am telling you that Chondris Crispus is the one Dr. Sabi is referring to. All right? And I'm out. Thank you for tuning in.